All right, Halos, welcome back to uh, Final Fantasy 16. It's been a quick minute since I last recorded, so uh, bear with me as I try to remember exactly where we're at and all that. But yeah, let's jump straight back into it, I believe. Yeah, uh, we're heading to speak with Otto at Home Sweet Home here, so we just uh, wrapped up some stuff in there previously, and yeah, let's uh, go ahead and continue on. Let's see where Otto is. Looks like he's just up this little area. What's up, buddy? All right, what's up, Otto? This morning, Victor sends his thanks. <laughs> I doubt Kupka will miss the fools he sent to catch me. Not a single one of the bearers we've saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we're away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican army. Should be back any day now. Understood. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. There must be better places in the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Yet this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. Who is that? I don't remember. Vivian, the map room. Okay, alright, let's do it. Uh, hello. Have you finished sorting those reports yet? Okay, never mind. Uh, we've got Nectar here. <clears throat> aren't you? You're wondering what the new board uh, is. New board is behind me, aren't you? Oh shoot! I, all in good time, my fearless friend. All in good time. Oh, okay. Nothing yet, but yeah, well, it's probably like a, a board where we can get quests pop possibly. I don't know. But let's talk to Vivian here. I trust I'm not intruding. Back from your mission. I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. One might say the same of you, Vivian Ninetales. I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. So, to what do I owe the honor? Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? <laughs> Is that so hard to believe? Very well, then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? But the real question is, how did we get here? Wait, what? We have like a history lesson or something? Ooh. Ooh. This is cool. Storm has endured. Recent days have seen the blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. For which reason she has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than would lead relinquish ash. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambraquois boots. Little wonder then that Sylvester set his sights on the crystalline dominion. An altogether easier target, possessed of no less ethos. It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor. A nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the twins. The Non-Aggression Treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The Holy Empire, the Dalmechian Republic, the Kingdom of Walud, and of course, our friends in Yaran. Who will be left standing, I wonder, when the last drop of blood is spilled? You were born in Twinside. Do you not fear for your home? Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Now, 
as to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me and we shall consider ourselves even. Even. Right. Return this volume to old Trones in the shed. Tell him it was adequate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. All right. Uh, interesting. Uh, speak with Harpocrates in the shelves. I guess this is where you can like learn of, of my more stuff about like history or like lore and stuff. It's kind of cool. I appreciate the option. I guess we'll go ahead and ask about a few of them. So uh, let's ask about the. Let's ask about her first. One would think. Uh, my role was abundantly abundantly clear by now. I offer you in your uh, the guiding light of knowledge that of matters military and political both past and present that it might illuminate your way ahead for it is only by understanding what has come before that one before that one might steer one's way toward a brighter future your role meanwhile is to ensure that i remain furnished with as much furnished with as much information on the state of the realm as your people can muster in order that i might continue to appraise the disposi dispositions of the great nations and those who rule them and of course to pay attention during my lectures it would not do to appoint the story at Nine Tales as your tutor, only to disregard her expert advice. Yeah, I've never heard about her before, but um, I feel like <clears throat> maybe it's a, a character from a different game or something. I'm not sure, honestly. Ask about coming to the hideaway. I admit. Uh, when I took up my professor's bonnet and began teaching at the University of Canvar, I did not think for a moment that I would one day count Sid the Outlaw among my pupils. Nor did I imagine that my fellow educators would have been have designs on my life, and we both know how that ended. Has it been a year already? Such is the peril of an overly inquisitive mind, I suppose. One is wont to uncover that which w others would go to great, great lengths to ensure remained hidden. Were it not for you and our mutual friend, having come to the rescue, my curiosity would likely have proved fatal. But instead, I was not only saved, but granted a new lease on life, as personal tutor to the band of outlaws, no less. Fellowship. Than anything in the academic world, I assure you. Alright, let's ask about the Crystalline Dominion. My beloved homeland. The crossroads of Valisthea, where one only. <clears throat> Valisthe? Valisthe? I don't know. Where only. Sorry, where one only has to stroll the streets to hear news from every far flung corner of the realm. Its mother crystal yields more shards than any other, and its land even now remain untouched by the blight. It is a blessed country indeed. Or at least it was. Until Sandbrick elected to invade and establish a new holy capital upon twin sides uh, heretofore neutral shores. It pains me to see the land I loved so changed, and even more to know that I did not predict it. I knew that Emperor Sylvester had designs on the Dominion, but to abandon Oriflam, the seat of the Holy Empire, since its inception, seemed too audacious, too audacious a move even for him. Alright, then we can view the state of the realm. By speaking with Vivian in the Hideaway's map room, Clive can view the state of the realm and learn more about the current ongoings in Valstea. Sorry about that. Uh, revisit any of the Nine Tales past lessons or take a deeper look at the relationships of those individuals in Clive's or individuals in Clad's orbit. Okay. Comprehensive grid of important persons and their respective relationships. The grand cast. Okay. And then situation map and overview of current and past Velastean affairs. Interesting. Here you can view a detailed overview of current and past events relative to relevant to Clad's story that updates as you progress through the main scenario. Use QE to cycle through pivotal moments in Clad's adventure. Yep. That's kind of interesting. I kind of like this. Uh, at least as an option, although we probably won't use it almost at all. Uh, the green cast here, you can view a detailed visualization of character relationships in Final Fantasy 16 that updates as you progress in the main scenario. Yep, yep, yep. Would know. Uh, inner voice. An all new feature is not accessible by pressing space while viewing the grand cast in Vivian's room, map room. Inner voice affords you, a, affords you a window in both Clyde's heart and the hearts of those he has encountered on his journey. After opening the feature, Select a character with space to hear the, their innermost thoughts on other members of the cast. Oh. That's pretty cool. I don't have what it takes to keep our people safe. Oh. I must make Father Prown. Happy yep. <laughs> I wish the current peace could last forever. Interesting. 
Alright. It's kinda cool. I thought they would actually like have audio uh <laughs> playing there, but like, evidently not. That's okay though. No worries. Alright. Uh let's go to speak with hard properties in the shelves. Uh yeah. But kinda more of a chill episode I guess so far. Uh, maybe we'll get some action here in a bit, we'll see. What's up, Jill? How you doing? Alright. <clears throat> oh, that's a cool looking place. What's that? Inspect. Mithril, a mineral most mighty. You can pause to read that if you guys want to. Um, Alright, let's talk to Harpocrates. Osman Harpocrates. I had not heard for a long time. So long, in fact, I had half forgotten it was mine. Welcome home, Clive. You were missed, as always. I believe this belongs to you. Vivian asked me to return it. Hand over on gods and men. Hm, nice. A resident scholar devours books faster than young Keck does lemon tarts. Would that I could do the same, but alas, I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such indulgence, either in words or tarts. <laughs> that said, I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's Head, but without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion, I regret that I have been able to find little and less. I am sorry. Please, don't apologize. I'll send word to our associates. See if they can't furnish you with more books. I fear it is not more books that I require, but the right ones. Mayhap we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries to the north. I'll see what I can do. You are too kind. There are not many in this world who would indulge the whims of a tired old historian. <laughs> we got too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. Always got a pocket for him. Nicked him off the Moogle. Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogle. <laughs> the twins seem well. Aye. Yet they laugh far too little for one so young. The loss of their parents weighs heavy on them, however well they hide it. Titan took much from us that night, from some more than others, and the wounds that remain. They are not quick to heal. Which is why we must give them all the time they need. That we must. Just as I must give you the time you need to recuperate. Good day, Clive. Good day. Yeah, we'll be back soon. I should get some rest while I can. Go ahead and update our uh, is yours. our thousand tomes stuff. Some new entries, if you would like to see them. I would like to see them. Just a little bit though, not too much. There is a rather fascinating excerpt I've been meaning to show you. He has a revelation. The founder. The Continental Accord. Hmm. Alright. Anyways, uh, we can talk more to him later, but I don't want this whole episode just to be uh, some talking. So let's go ahead and head to the next part of the quest here. Although it may still be just talking. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, hello. Not back a blink and you're already off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scowl. I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like... to be myself. And it's all thanks to you, Talia. The scalpel did most of the work. Ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter from Gal. Otto left it on your desk. Otto stole this. All right. I'll have a look. And then you get some rest. Oh, 
Oh, interesting. I actually didn't even notice that the the thing was gone, but that's cool. I'm glad it is. Uh, read Gaz's letter. Should What's be up here. It's over to the tavern crown for me. Hey, it was Jilson here as well. Nice. Uh, reading table, all right. Uh, the reading table reports, letters, and other important missives addressed to Clive are delivered to the reading table for in his chambers. New messages are always arriving, so make it a point to check the reading desk upon returning to the hideaway. All right, the Republic's play. The Republican army marches on the Empire at Twinside, and the men of the Rock have been summoned to the front. Something big is brewing, I reckon. I'll see you are done to wear upon my return. What? Huh? Gaff. All right. I guess that's it. What does <clears throat> Defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance, the one we've been waiting for. All right. But look how far we've come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's really <coughs> trying to save you from yourself. Burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew, but one thing has become abundantly clear the crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain, war after war, loss upon loss. And now, now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. He did. He was there. It wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out to Ultima. Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that, that thing. Do you think he will ever come back? I'm sure he will. And we must be ready when he does. Without mother crystals, to sit. So the North is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this, this is far, far worse than any could have imagined. This is only a matter of time before the twins are no more. The world 
march is ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother, are our efforts in vain? Master Clark, a moment, if you... Uh, my apologies, I didn't mean to... intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha, from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Very well. Hmm, not Martha. Alright. Well, I think I am... Ooh, the Gathering Storm. Nice new quest to find out, it looks like. Or was she, did she leave? Was she taken? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think I am going to go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you guys for watching. We're going to go ahead and speak with Otto down here. And yeah, we'll go ahead and do that next episode, though. Um, thank you guys for watching once more. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right, peace.